welcome back to the Walton's YouTube channel and Tech Talk episode 2. I am Bill. So the first episode I talked about the Zoom H1 stereo recorder. Um, it's a great old unit and I absolutely love it. Um, so I thought to continue on with episode 2 I'd stick with my favourite Zooms in the H series uh, and go up from the stereo 2 track to the 4 tracks. They do two 4 track units. There's the H4 and the H5. So both of them record four tracks rather than stereo tracks. You can do a stereo recording like you can on the H1, but like I said, you can do four tracks. So you could, for music, it's great for doing overdub, songwriting, that sort of stuff. Um, the other thing is even for location recording, that if you're recording a gig or something, you could plug two inputs into the bottom inputs here on both units um, from a mixer in the front of house and then have the stereo mics capture in the crowd. So it's great for doing live recordings, live you know band recordings, that sort of stuff. Brilliant for those. The other things that these are great for is, and what they're used for an awful lot, is film, TV, and that sort of stuff. Because again, you can get a stereo um, recording of the overall scene from both units, just using the microphones on top, and then using the inputs on the back, you can have direct inputs from say radio mics or lapel mics or wherever it might be um, from the actors in the scene or from whatever the main source is or other source mics close mics so you have more options you can record more data um, and information um, using the h4 and h5 both of these units have built in effects and both of these units have built in limiters and high pass filters so they'll cut out the low end rumble uh, same as the H1 um, and both of them have um, they have more of a menu on these both of them have a menu button on the side so you press the menu button and then you can use the jog wheel then to scroll down through all the different things so you can select where your sound source is from or where your what effects if you're only using the stereo mics or using these mics on their own or all the mics together uh, what tracks they're going to if they have a compressor on them or a limiter on them uh, if they have auto gain all that can all be done in the menu um, the other cool thing about the H4 and H5 is that it can be connected directly to your computer Mac or PC uh, through USB and then they become audio interfaces. So when you go into the USB mode on both of them, you have two options. You've got SD card reader, now I'll just show you now, USB, so you have SD card reader or audio interface. So what that means is an SD card reader, anything that you have can recorded onto the units, onto their SD card, because they all, all the Zoom units record onto SD card. Anything you have recorded on the unit can then just be picked up like an external hard drive and transferred onto your computer for editing. Um, if it's in audio interface, then these are audio interfaces. So you can plug microphones directly in and record directly into a computer. And with that in mind, the inputs on both of them, on the H5 and the H4, are dual inputs. So you can plug a jack cable or you can plug a mic cable and both of them have phantom power. So that means if you're using a studio condenser microphone for vocals, you're using that as an audio interface, what would happen is you can power your condenser mic and therefore da -da 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 -da, record great vocals to it. Um, you can also plug guitars into it and then use guitar amp software etc and have amplifiers built into your laptop or desktop or whatever just going through your H4. The only thing is when you are doing that I do recommend uh, knocking off, if you're going to use effects in real time I would knock off the internal monitoring if you're using them as those and if you aren't if you just want to record through it and have no latency depending on the processor and the computer and all that you're running well then you want the monitor not but it's just it's situational it depends on what you're doing. Um, now the other main difference between the H5 and the H4 I think the H4 is great for uh, musicians and and also for people doing like field recording, podcasting, um, and that sort of stuff, you know, uh, film, TV. But I think the H5 is a little more suited to the film and TV thing, and I'll tell you why. The H4, the stereo mics on top are set. That's it. That's the way they are. Okay, they're kind of they're they're stuck on it there. That's just the way it is. Okay, with the H5, you can detach the mics on top, 
and you can get different capsules from Zoom. So that's the standard stereo capsule, XY. You can get uh, mid-side, you can get shotgun mics, you can get all sorts of different connections and just pop them on top there. Um, it's, some, it's a feature that they have on the H5, H6 and the F-Series. The F-Series you can do the same with a cable, with an adapter cable that can connect any of their microphone systems to their field recorders. And also the F1, the small one as well, you can do the same thing. You can fit different microphones. You can also get an adapter that has two extra Canon and jack inputs on them. So you can plug in four external microphones and record into separate tracks. The H5 has a more rugged casing and it has this bar protection over the gain pots for your two bottom inputs where the H4 doesn't. Uh, the H4 doesn't have, as you can see, it doesn't have an actual gain controls on the front. They're done through the menu, etc., and the buttons on the side. Um, but on the H5, the gain controls are either on the microphone or on the front of the unit. So for a real on the fly location recording, that's a great feature. You know, and the fact that it has the bar protecting it and the kind of more rugged case. If you're going to drop it, especially when you're out of the field, well, that's going to, you know, do the trick and um, keep it safe. And then both units, just like the H1, have the adapter on the back. So they can um, be mounted to mic stands and they can also be mounted to um, a hot shoe and on top of a camera. But the one I would recommend if you're going to be mounted to a camera and do more outdoor work would be the H5 because the H5 like I said, has the switchable mics. So I could put a shotgun mic on there, hot shoe on there, pop on top of my on top of your digital camera, and hey presto, you're ready to go shooting. Um, so it's really, 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 really good for outdoor. You can use it for anything, any purpose, you can use an audio interface, you can use it for music, but I think this is really, really kind of where it shines, the H5 shines is in field recording. That's where it differs from the H4. So there's one or two of the features on it, I think, are more geared toward field recording where the h4 um radio interviews um stereo recording four track recording just songwriting ideas that sort of stuff h4 is perfect uh, a lot of people in film and tv have been using the h4 because it's the h4 n pro uh, i think it'd be the third or fourth uh, edition of the h4 um, from the old, old, old silver one, the very first one they had with this little jog wheel in the middle. The very first time, many, many, many moons ago. And it just got better and better and better and better as the editions came out. This one does have a better screen. It does have a more kind of um, heavy duty casing. It does have the controls the on the front to stop, play and skip and fast forward, etc. Uh, and you do have your WAV and MP3 selection buttons all that on the front, just like you would on the H1N. Um, and then H5, same thing. Record button, your play, pause, stop switch and then your tracks so um but if you want to select your uh, sample rates and that sort of stuff where you can do or with wav and mp3 where it's done with a button on the h4 it's done in the menu in the h5 so they do do the same things but like i said this one is more gained uh, more aimed at on on out in the field need to record something quick you need control over your gain on your mic inputs and also the fact that you can switch out the microphones really easy and mount it to a camera etc it's brilliant where this puppy has the features on the front in the buttons it doesn't have the gain control on the front um, but everything else is on the front in buttons so they're just geared slightly toward radio and music and slightly more toward field recording um, but either one, would, if you're looking for a great, you know, high quality um, four track digital recorder, either one will do. And like I said, add a bonus, they're also one of the interfaces, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend either. So next thing to check out, why recommend checking out Zoom H4, Zoom H5. Um, they're brilliant. So I've been Bill, you've been you. This is the Walton's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Talk to you later.